Greetings, M squared, and we are going to find the inverse of a relation. Remember, a relation is a set of ordered pairs, so it's just a set of points. And this is super easy. Basically, there's one step. You switch the x's with the y's and the y's with the x's. So to find the inverse of this, we simply switch the x and the y. 2, negative 3, 5, 0, and 4, 2. And that is the inverse of the original. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, you can handle this. How about this one? To find the inverse, we just switch the x's and the y's. And then it is our inverse. And this might seem really simple and like you don't have to use your brain too much, but I really want you to understand that switching x and y's is what gets you the inverse. This comes in really handy. So anytime you're thinking about an inverse, you want to think about the x value and the y value switching. That little tidbit of information is going to help you even when you get into trigonomic um, inverses, you know, like the sine inverse and that kind of thing. X and Y switch places, so keep that in mind. Good luck, M squared, signing out.